After years of contamination, officials are stepping up efforts to support residents exposed to hazardous materials from Exide Technologies. Rasha Goel has more as officials reach out to the community one family at a time. All the children that live here cannot play in their yards because it's so toxic. Teresa Marquez is among the Boyle Heights residents who has experienced the negative effects of XI Technologies, a former battery recycling facility in the city of Vernon. And one of my grandsons has Asperger's, okay, and that is from contamination. A lot of children here have the same problem, unable to focus, anger problems, and it's all due to the lead in your blood. The Exide facility operated for decades and closed down in March of 2015. Known as the lead acid battery smelter, it processed about 25,000 batteries a day. The plant was cited numerous times for emitting lead into the local environment and for violating hazardous waste laws. An estimated 7 million pounds of lead were released in the air by Exide during its illegal operation. The exposure to dangerously high levels of lead and other contaminants can be detrimental to the brain, to kidneys, to liver, and other vital organs. Action is now being taken as the LA County Health Agency with community members hold an outreach effort where 1,400 volunteers will go door to door to over 20,000 homes within 1.7 miles of Exide Technologies. They will get information from residents about their health concerns as well as provide them with educational materials. The state has provided millions of dollars for us to clean up, for the state to clean up the area. Uh, it's going a lot slower than I would like. I wish it would go a lot faster, but we need to inform the residents about where the state is in this process. And this contamination has taken, it has broken my family and it has broken me. Residents say it has taken too long to get here and they can't afford to have innocent lives affected by a contamination that should have been taken care of years ago. In Boyle Heights, I'm Rasha Goel for LA This Week. More than 100,000 people live, work and play near and around the former Exide plant.